So I, I don't understand them when they speak. <laughs> you don't understand the kids, so I well, When they speak uh, between them, I'm like, what? <laughs> have they, they taught say, you any slang? They say, Mom, can I have yoga? <laughs> Dobrodošli ljudi na kanal Poeti Vuđ, a ovaj put radimo na srpskom početak intervjua. Pričamo srpski da nas ceo svet razume. Kako si, brate? Dobro, ti. Drago mi je da se vidimo. Također, hvala. A nam Pauvi, moja se zmiji. Hvala na pozivu. I had to do the introduction in Serbian, because yeah, it doesn't happen often. And it's an honor to have you on our channel. But we're going to go straight into it. We have an audience. They had many questions they wanted to ask you. So we're going to go, I think, into the most important one. From Luke, who says, Mitrovic or Messi for Ballon d'Or? <laughs> <laughs> Depends. If Mitrovic scored in the last qualification game against Portugal, then Mitrovic. So. What's Mitrovic like as a player? He's such a big character uh, off the field. What's he like G as a player? Great guy. Yeah. yeah outside the pitch is uh, like a little baby. <laughs> on, on, on the pitch is, is different, of course. It's a big guy, as you know, and uh, very strong. But fantastic person, and uh, yeah, it's always nice to have him in the team. But you've got Cristiano now at, uh, at Manchester United. How is it playing with him? And have you been in contact with the Serbia boys to tell them, look, this is what you need to do in that <laughs> game? If Serbia beat Portugal directly to the World Cup, ah. if Portugal win, they go directly. So it's right now, you're the spy. You've is got it? Bruno, exactly. and you've got Cristiano. You just got to fill in the Serbian national team. For me, it's easy. I just have to punch two of them in, in the training, <laughs> yes. and, and that's it. They don't play. <laughs> Can I give you twenty pounds after, maybe? Just make sure it happens. No, it's more. 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 Invoice. I'll send invoice to the agent. Yeah. That's the only way to stop those. I think. I like that. Yeah. Personally, I'm a fan of it. Yeah, it's great. It's great to to be teammate with Cristiano, of course. And uh, for me, him and Messi, they're two best players in football history. What they are doing in the last 20 years is unbelievable. So I don't, I don't think that there is there. There are some more players who were 20 yeah. years on top. Uh, we had, we had some top. Zamorano. Yeah, Zamorano. Zamorano. Hey, I'm just saying Radonjic. Yeah. I'm just saying the Serbian Ronaldo. Maybe. Yeah, great players, great players. But uh, these two guys, for for 20 years on top, the best every year, scoring 50 goals per season. So. Incredible. I don't think anyone did that in football history. No, no. I'll go on to you a little bit now, though, um, because you are someone that's you know played in at Red Star and Partizan at a younger level, yep. and then you didn't work out. It didn't work out for you there at those clubs. You went back to your home club, and you found your way in an alternative route: Košice and then Benfica, and in the Premier League. Obviously, an excellent career here. And Kesman says, uh, "Can you get Iporatic?" Says, "Ask him about his time in Red Star and Serbia. How was it for you?" And how did it feel when you didn't? Kesman. That's not his. It's not actual Kesman. Ah, Matej. No, Matej. Legend. 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 Well, I played in Restal Belgrade as a as a young kid, four and a half years. Then I was in Partizan Belgrade, a couple of seasons, and uh, yeah, from from two of the, those clubs, they they told me that I'm not good enough and I have to to go. Then I went uh, back home, uh, and yeah, I find my way. Uh, it was hard, of course. My dream was to play in rest of Belgrade. Uh, in that time, that was my my aim, my dream to just to play one game for for first team of, of, of rest of Belgrade, but didn't happen. And uh, and that's life. Yeah. Sometimes you have to accept uh, that they don't want you, and to see what you can do, and to show them that they they were wrong. Will you go back for one season? No, one no, 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 no. That that was my dream when I was a kid, ah, and, uh, oh, no. and uh, did it happen? I think uh, if I go back, that wouldn't be the same motivation. And you don't need to you don't need to do everything in your life. Maybe maybe my son will play. So support the son. curiously through him. I yeah, think. of course, of course. Messed up? I think you messed up. That's just my opinion. 
That's just my opinion. Never know, never know. Yeah, I'll but... take Matic to Arsenal today. That's just my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but they're doing well in Europe now. It's good to see Partizan and Red Star sort of back in Europe and, and having the results. Do you keep up with that? That sort of side of things, the Serbian football? You mean if I watch the... Yeah, yeah, watch yeah, the yeah I follow, I follow, I follow. You know how uh, I do it with time. Of time. course. Yeah, I follow football. Uh, Serbian clubs, especially when they play in Europe. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I think that we have uh, two very big clubs in maybe younger generation, they don't remember, but uh, Red Star Belgrade won, won the Champions League already in, back in 1991. Yeah. That's so, uh, our country eco economically, they are not, uh, they are not good, but uh, I think in next 10-20 years, uh, if we improve, uh, the football also is going to improve and uh, rest of, uh, and Partizan, I think soon, soon they will start playing Champions League, Europa League, so they will be also important for, for your, your European football. I love, myself and Vuj, we love players under the age of 25. We just like to see their journey and growth. What players in Serbia under the age of 25 right now do you see looking like the next top tier talent in uh, European I football? think that's the problem of Serbian football. Not many young players get the chance to, to play. And uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry for that because Vrestal Belgrade in the last four years played two times Champions League and I didn't see any young players coming in. So they should, they should give to the young players more chance because uh, that's the way football is going today. If one Mason Greenwood with 17 can play in, in, in for Manchester United, so I think we have also big talents in Serbia. They can also play for Red or Partizan. Uh, Michael uh, Stojasavljevic and Alexander Vesic, Vesic Aso, Aso, they say, have you got a favourite Serbian player and what's your thoughts on the attacking players for Serbia now? Because going forward, we look good. Favourite Serbian player? Do you have one now? That plays now. I would say now and maybe before. Isn't before. It? Yeah, well, when Restar won Champions League, my favourite was Dejan Savicevic. Savicevic, baller. Remember AC Milan? Oh Savicevic. my lord, yeah, that's yeah. old school now. Yeah. I remember Robert from that team. And from the young players, I like Vlahovic. I think that he has a, a bright future. Mm -hmm. He is a great potential, I like his attitude on the pitch. Uh, yeah, I like him. Of course, we, we have a lot of talented players, but if you ask me for one, let's say Vlahovic, that I think he can make a great career. He scored like nine in a friendly or something nice like that. Playing, and the free kick recently, he scored top bins. Proper. Very, 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 very good goal. Um, but Peter Pedersen says, can you tell us a little bit more about growing up in Ub, Serbia? What do you miss the most about living there? And are you planning on living there after your career is finished? Because your town loves you. You have a street named after you. I know you, you run two football clubs right in the area as well. You've invested in the football club. You give back a lot. Um, yeah, by that question, do you see yourself going back there? Do you miss it? Yeah, I miss, I miss friends and family. You know, I'm already 15 years uh, abroad, outside of, of Serbia. So I miss family, friends. Uh, I miss a lot there in the last 15 years. My uh, cousins got kids, they got married. I, I miss everything. <laughs> so my cousin just just was here 10 days to, to see me. His kids are already grown. Yeah. <laughs> I saw them maybe twice. So, so that's the only thing I miss. Of course, uh, home is home always. If I'm gonna live there uh, in the future, I don't know. I think I will depend on my kids. Uh, they, they grew up here in England. Uh, uh, they speak, uh, their first lang language is English. Mm. I have to say they speak very good Serbian, but they go to school in England. Do you make sure you speak Serbian at home? Yeah, my they, parents? they have to, they have yeah. to. They, they, that's the first rule. You have to speak Serbian. That's important, I think. It's very important, man. Have they got like a Manchester accent as well? They, they got Manchester accent. Manchester. So I, I don't understand them when they speak. <laughs> Do you not understand the kids? Like, no, when they speak uh, between them, I'm like, what? <laughs> Have they taught you any slang? They say, Mom, can I have a yoga? <laughs> <laughs> so if they want that we don't understand, they can, they can do they it. They can do the they slang speak, and everything. They speak mank. <laughs> mank. mank. Yeah. So they have to speak Serbian just so we have a connection and we understand what's going on. Yeah. Mank is a, especially when they're, they're arguing. Is that English like, language? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Mancunian is Scouse, Mancunian, very, very different. Yeah. Food and culture, a few more, you know, quicker questions here. What do you like to eat more? Sarma or Chevapi? This is from uh, Mihmit7. Sarma is nice, but Chevapi is 
my favorite. On the grill. What's chivapi? Yeah. Chivapi is meat on the on the grill. It's like a little sausage but, type mixed meat. Pork. Yeah. Mixed. Mixed pork beef. It's mixed. Very tasty. We had to mix it up back home. Mix it up. <laughs> All right, fair enough. You got to mix it up. I hear you. Do you have any? Uh, do you any peels? Any additions you add to the? Uh, Ivar. 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 Uh, ah, you have to eat with potato. Oh, okay, potato. Potato. French fries. French fries with with chavapi and uh, and Greek salad. Oh, Shopska. Shopska. Oh, Shopska. 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 You can say Greek if you want. I don't know. He can explain you Shopska. 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 Shopska salata is a salad with tomatoes, tomato, tomato, uh, paprika, uh, uh, cheese, cheese, goat cheese. cheese, onions. Very, very nice salad. Uh, I'll take you. Uh, please. We're going to go Ealing Common. Mm -hmm. We're going to go uh, Corner Terrace. Corner you may know the restaurant. Corner Terrace or Fulham Kitchen. Or Fulham Kitchen. We'll go Fulham Kitchen. Yeah, Fulham. Sauce. Serbian food there. Eh? We'll go do that there. Say no more. But James, you. who I believe is English, says, is he crazy? For eating burek, he said, "Am I crazy? Am I? Yeah, is he crazy? Yeah, am I oh. crazy for eating burek with Ivar? Who is eating? Uh, uh, well, James Park says I am eating. Am I? Crazy? Uh, he is eating. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, that's great. Great. Okay, what's that? This is education for me. Burek is like a pastry type dish which is filled with either meat, but there's a whole debate whether it's or cheese or cheese or sometimes potato. And Ivar is a paprika type yeah. tomato sauce. Sometimes I eat the same. Yeah, yeah mix yeah. it up. And mix mix it. it up. Come it's on. It's not traditionally eaten together, but normally it's. <laughs> but young Fendi, I believe this one doesn't really apply to you. Um, but in my family and perhaps me at some points in my life says. Have you ever? Uh, he says Serbia questions. Does he like cigs and coffee for breakfast? Does he like what? Cigs and coffee. Cigs is what? Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Yes, me? Yeah. Me? That's what he asked. I never tried cigarettes. So I don't serious? Know. Oh, a real one, boy. Just back home, my auntie. When I wake up, first thing she offers me: cigarette, cold black coffee. Fat, fat. <laughs> serious? It's not good, no. But uh, culturally, he was. I like coffee, espresso. Espresso? After the Nasha? after after uh no. Keep the first espresso. Espresso, espresso. Italian style coffee. Yeah, Italian style. And single espresso after breakfast is my routine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there go. Uh, what has been your biggest culture shock living in England from Jolly? Did you have anything which was like, oh that's surprising? Apart from the weather, which everyone says. Weather is good. In England? What what's wrong with weather? I don't know. I can give you twenty things, but we ain't got enough time on the video. But I can give maybe a hundred. Why? Well, I'm from Jamaica. I prefer more this type of weather than Serbia. In Serbia, in summer, it's 45 oh, degrees. Too much. You can do anything. That. Here is, you can always go out and walk and... I need the heat, man. I'm a flower. Let me just grow. You're Jamaican as well, so culturally. And then yeah. go to Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was that easy. I've got a career here. I can't start in Jamaica. <laughs> now there's restrictions of flight. You don't know. Have you seen the Jamaican league? Probably. No. I think they're smoking in the grounds, the players are smoking at half time. No, that's maybe lower lower divisions. It is. It is. In, uh, in England happened the same, the guy was eating uh, on the bench. This question here, I don't know if you watched the Usyk against Joshua. Yes. Well, this question, you might understand it then. Webb says, on a scale of not feel to very feel, how feel are you? Let's get the video. Oh, Objasni. Kad je, kad ga je dobio? Ovi su ga prima neke neku foru, kada njega pitaju how do you feel? I on samo kaže I am feel. I am very feel. Znači ne kaže kako se osjeća, nego samo kaže I am feel. Who said that? Usik, Usik. Zezas. Ah. I onda ovaj pita on a scale of not feel to very feel, how feel are you? I feel. I feel? <laughs> <laughs> are you very feel? I'm uh, very feel, very feel. <laughs> yes, I love it. Uh, we'll go a bit of football now, we'll end it on the football. Um, oh, cool. Do you ever look back at the screamers you've scored on YouTube? Do you ever like go in and just check all the goals you've scored? Because someone that left foot. Top yeah, ends. yeah. I watch a couple of times with my son when he, when he put on YouTube and I watch. I'm like. Oh. Ben says, but for real, what goal felt better? The volley for Benfica versus Porto, or the screamer against Spurs that produced this masterpiece? Bro. Zuma! Zuma <laughs> boy, I saw him yesterday, so <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I like Zuma, a proper top, nice guy. Top. So, out zoom, of those zoom. two goals? I think a uh, goal for Benfica. That volley was so clean. Bro, yeah. I just asked my boy Timzy to send us the video. I'm telling you, I want to get it before the end of this interview. The goal you score, obviously, I'm an Arsenal fan. We don't like Spurs. When you match that top corner, I, I, it came out of nowhere, bro. 
yeah, it was was great goal, but I think Benfica Porto was was better. It's a bigger yeah, game the as well. Derby, the derby, oh, well, the biggest game Portugal's yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a derby. <laughs> Chelsea Tottenham it was not a derby. It's a London derby, no? Nah. Not the same. Maybe a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> A little dig at the Spurs there. Eh? I love this. Chelsea Arsenal, is that still a derby? <laughs> I, uh, how do you feel? I don't. I'm not very feel. feel. Yeah, I, I am very feel. Feel. <laughs> feel. I am feel about Arsenal. We've got a question here. Who's the player you've enjoyed playing the most alongside in your career? From Josh Murphy. Oh. Oh, hard question. So, yeah, because yeah, you played play the uh, hard, qu hard question. It's difficult. I have to tell you five names and yeah. five aside team. Go for it. Yeah. If I tell you that I play with Ibrahimovic, with, Ro with Ronaldo, uh, keep going, man. Hazard. Woo! I don't know. It's hard to. You can keep more. going. In Benfica was Aymar. Oh, Pablo! He inspired Messi. I, I have keep to go going. on the bench, yeah. Yeah, you may have been. <laughs> Come on, give us one more. You may have been. So, four more. Oh, one more, one more. Four, I think we have an 11. Okay, Kante. Kante, yeah. What a player. Yeah. But in terms of um, Dimzi says, how is it playing under Jose? Because he's, he's taking you to three times, right? Three no, no, two games. times. Two, two times. times. People say three, but two. People, you know, people speak too much. <laughs> yeah, the internet's always yeah. two times Jose under Jose. And it seems like he really loved you as a player. Yeah, we had great connection. We played together at Chelsea, United. Yeah, I had great connection with him. Vibes. We are still in touch. Uh, yeah. Great manager, uh, great person for me. So it was a pleasure, pleasure to, to work with him. Was it, you feel? Very feel? Or very feel, very feel. I love, I'm a Jose lover. I love that man. <laughs> love him so much. But Danny says, what's the most technically gifted player you've ever played against? Probably Messi. What's it like playing against yeah. Messi? Uh, yeah, fantastic player. Uh, I played against him, I think, twice. Uh, when I played uh, Benfica, before uh, we played Barcelona, the coach told me, listen, forget everything. Messi cannot score. And that was a period when Messi was scoring three or four goals per, okay. per game. I said, <laughs> what, do you want me to do? <laughs> what do you want me to break his legs or what? <laughs> he said, I don't care. He cannot. Nothing. He cannot score. Did he score? Did he? No. Jeez! But, but Oof, uh, I had to kick him 10 times, you know. <laughs> My brother, we got to get it somewhere. You, you got to get, get, get it how you get it, man. He didn't score, but uh, it was, was, was hard to play against him, yeah. I think the one that everybody wants to end with, I thought Danny, Danny says, Paul, do you see yourself going into management when the playing career is over? It seems like you have like a strong head. Yeah, yeah I, I, calm. I think I decide I will be a manager one day, but when I finish football in five, six years. Okay. Five, six years? Yes. What, you want me to stop now? No, 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 come to Arsenal. I want you to play <laughs> five, six years over He's there. Trying to sign you. <laughs> I'm trying to sign you. Before we leave though, this is one thing. Now, I was in love with London because I didn't know anything else and then I've come Manchester. Mm. Now, I believe Manchester's better than London. And someone's asked, what do you prefer, London or Manchester? Not clubs, but the just the city, city is the vibe. The life. Mm. Because I was born in a village. I like more space, more green. So, Manchester. Manchester is but better than London. I told you. <laughs> I, I didn't say it's better. Oh. I said I like more. But if you ask my wife, she will say London a hundred uh, times. Yeah. So it like depends. London is good in one way, in one way Manchester in another way. Yeah. But I like more space, so more freedom. More nature. Lo London is uh, traffic. Congestion charge. Congestion less, charge, you have to pay. pay. <laughs> you have to pay to walk in an area. Parking. Oh, <laughs> Lord. London can be. You have to, in 10 years, you will have to pay to breathe. I agree. I, I thought about it. If I go, just say I want to go central London just for the day. <gasps> I have to hold my breath. Because I've got to pay congestion charge and parking. Yep. Even if I didn't eat food, I spent 40 pounds. And Ules. You have, you need 50 pounds just to go out of the, exactly. of the house here. Yeah. Very, very that. expensive city. Oh, well. Well, Nemanja Matic, thank you very much. It was a pleasure well, for me, guys. Well, you are nice to see you. Legend, bro. Thank you. Legend. Have a nice. We end with have a nice. I feel. <laughs> very. Have a nice. <laughs>